there are seven blows that you can deliver in your writing guaranteed to knock out your reader every time. Seriously, is this necessary? Fine, but we're not having a montage. We're gonna have a montage. Why be good when you can be exceptional? Oh, selecting high quality language to use in your writing not only impresses, oh, but often more accurately explains what it is you're trying to say. Oh, engaging and interesting. I like this book because my favourite food is erosion is a bad thing. Dull, dull, dull and predictable. If you're bored by what you're writing, it's your job to make it interesting. Similes, metaphors, personification and hyperbole are just a few techniques that will pack a punch. Right, what is it you need me to do? Chase a chicken? What do you mean we haven't got any chick? Oh, a crocodile. Okay, with mummy's iPad, yeah? Yeah, that'll do it. Come here! Link your paragraphs, and not just with connectives, but think of using themes that you can weave throughout your writing and revisit as you go. Examples such as fire, weather and water are fantastic because they create some wonderful opportunities to use similes, metaphors and other descriptive devices! Punctuation. If you know it, show it. Use it every time you write so that when you've finished your writing, you know you've left it all out there on the page. Avoid starting every sentence with a subject followed by a verb. I was, he went. There are so many more interesting ways to start a sentence. So, to blow your reader, mix it up a bit. Be unpredictable. Cool. Organize and plan your writing before you start. Note down everything you need to do to be successful and then execute your game plan while you work. Remember, no champ ever went into the ring without a game plan. Putting together different combinations of complex, basic and short sentences will give your writing more impact while keeping your reader on their toes. So, if you want to knock out your reader, just remember Help SOS is at hand. Make using it a habit and it will always be in your corner. For more information, head on over to my Help Me With Writing series where I cover all of the seven punches separately. And remember that every writing champion was once a contender who refused to give in.